Hi, Claude Whitaker here. I'm a sales trainer. Uh, I give speeches to salespeople, uh, audience of uh, sales managers, and also groups of uh, small business owners. A lot of times people will ask me, you know, what kind of books should I read? How should I study? Uh, how can I make myself better at my craft, which is selling? And what I do is a lot of times I'll recommend books that I think are going to really, really help you in your, in your sales profession. And one book I recommend, uh, with a big caveat, is this book, Secrets of Closing Sales by Charles B. Roth. Now, this is dated, meaning that I, I don't remember exactly when I bought this book. This is, this is not the original one that I bought. This is a replacement uh, copy that I bought. It's the fourth edition. Don't buy the fifth edition because they started editing, you know, if you go on Amazon or eBay to buy this book, they started editing this book heavily starting with the fifth edition. I think there's five, maybe six editions out. But I bought the fifth edition by mistake once and I started looking at it and I thought, man, this is just not the same book at all. They took a lot of the dialogue out. They tried to, it's written, you know, there's another guy that is trying to help, you know, by taking out things that are bothersome like the dialogue that you need. Uh, he's trying to update the examples, you know, to, he's trying to incorporate things like the internet, which is fine. But, but by doing that, you're actually devaluing the core premise of the book. Okay. Well, so by Charles Roth, Secrets of Closing Sales, fourth edition or newer. Here's what I liked about this book. It, it's actually a, a, a very comprehensive book about a simple process, which is closing sales. And what this guy has done, Mr. Roth has done, is he's broken down the closing process into a series of uh, questions that you ask. And he's, he's named his, uh, he has a lot of names for the processes that he uses. For example, um, uh, it, how to play on a buyer's weakness. Now, some of the, I gotta tell you, some of this language is a little bit dated. Like I would never say play on a buyer's weakness. That doesn't sound good to me, you know, but that's the way they used to talk back then. Uh, how to develop closing consciousness. Uh, the do so, he has names of all these, he calls these keys, do, different keys. The do something key, the coming event key, the th friendly third party key, the something for nothing key, you know, the little question key, the beyond every doubt key, and he um, explains how to do these things. Now, my opinion is this, and this is a very educated opinion in selling. My opinion is this, you should read this book, maybe one of the first books you read. Maybe this, excuse me, this book and How to Master the Art of Selling by Tom Hopkins. Those are very good, these are very good first books for you to read. Why? They will give you the structure of what closing is, the structure of how to ask questions. See, then, then this is like the backbone of your, of your selling process. This will teach you uh, some technique that you can immediately apply. Uh, and it'll also give you a structure that later on you can, you can attach other techniques to and you can modify it to your personality and all that. But at first, you kind of need to have the definition of these different kinds of closes, the structure of how to close. Um, this is very, very helpful because People, when they're done, different closes, uh, different closes appeal to different kinds of people. See, stronger. Some people like stronger closing, more assertive closing. Some people like more the questioning, the Socratic method of closing, which is asking questions. Some people like um, uh, soft closing. Some people like trial closing. I'm talking about customers and salespeople. So you need to know how to kind of match the way that you present and the way that you close sales to the customer's preferred method of buying. And this gives you a good overview of how that works. Now, I don't want to give it too much credit. It, all it does is talk about closing. It doesn't talk about prospecting. It doesn't talk about presenting. It really just talks about closing, which is frankly to me about the last 5% of the sale is the closing. And if you're doing everything else right, the close should be almost automatic. But you need to know these things. See, it's like if you're playing football, you need to know how to make a touchdown. You just need to know, okay? <laughs> There's a lot that goes on before that touchdown, but you need to know how to make that touchdown. I don't know how to play football, so maybe my analogy is terrible, but what I would do is, one of the first books I would buy is the Charles B. Roth book, Secrets of Closing Sales. Uh, I have my fourth edition right here. If you get one that's that uh, early of an edition or earlier, I think you'll be ahead, okay? Talk to you later, thank you.